good morning guys and welcome back here at a new episode on the Koi Partner YouTube channel. Today we are in Ojia, in the Niigata Prefecture here in Japan. In this city, it's all about Koi. They even built a Nishiki Koi or Koi Museum. Everything is there from the history till uh, a beautiful garden with a lot of Koi, bonsai, waterfalls. I'll tell you a little bit more also about the earthquake they had uh, a couple of years ago. Then this was totally destroyed and the community here, like all the Japan Japanese Koi breeders uh, and also the local government helped them to recover this beautiful museum. So let's go inside, let's check out the Koi, the history, the photos and uh, let's make an, a cool uh, new episode here on the channel. So it's quite rainy today, but let's go uh, inside the Nishikigoi Museum. Thank you. So this is the uh, the history of the Nishiki Goi. As you can see, it started with the black koi, and from there on, you uh, have the multiple of the the kind of different varieties. Um, and this is how they get uh, the varieties like Kohaku, Showa, Sanka, Asagi. Um, if you go a little bit more to the left, we see more about the uh, lo local evolution of the Nishiki Goi. Of course, more of the history in Japan. So, for the people who don't know, um, one of my favorite varieties is the Kohaku. You see, left, left corner. Then we go to the Shirotsuri, Asagis, Hiyotsuri, Kujakus, Showa, Yamabugi Ogon, Platon and Ogon. Aigoromo and even Shishui. So um, most of the varieties are shown here. Let's go. Uh, let's go a little bit further. We got some plate and ogons here. And they did make it even kind of interactive for the children. <laughs> about the history about this area so you can read more about the Nishiki Goi also about the bulls and everything they have here in the, in this area <laughs> cool all right guys as I just um, told you I need to tell you a little bit more about the earthquake they had here on 23 of October 2004 uh, the Chichetsu uh, earthquake uh, struck here in uh, Ojia and it had uh, an intensity of six plus on the Japanese, uh, Japan Meteorological Agency. And um, uh, yeah, it, 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 the electricity was cut off for days here after the earthquake. But as you can see, I will try to zoom in, you uh, see how everything was damaged here. And um, many breeders lost a lot of fish, but with the help of the community here, they uh, were able to recover the Nishikigoi Museum. Uh, because that was, uh, of course, very important for this area. So the local government here tries to interact with schools uh, to get the children more involved about the um, uh, history of the Nishikigoi in this area. And that's, uh, that's really important uh, that they do that for the future. Okay, so let's go into the fun part of this um, this museum, you can uh, give the koi. Uh, I just they, they just got me um, an ice cube with uh, koi food in there, and you can give it to the koi. So as you can see uh, here, she's already uh, feeding the koi, and there are many many <laughs> hungry fish. It's quite funny to see.
Okay guys, so let's give them what they deserve because they look very hungry. I have the ice cube um, with the koi food over here. No, my camera is not there. Okay guys, let's give them what they deserve because they look very hungry. Uh, I got my ice cube here with the koi food in it and um, well, I hope they, uh, they like it. So see how much koi they have swimming around here and they did a really good job on the uh, on the water quality the fish they have here and even the, uh, the really 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 cool um, uh, waterfall they have over there Well, they even got babies this year. So you see all the different varieties like Kohaku, Showa, Sanke, Benidoi, it's all there. Alright guys, this was it here at the uh, Koi Museum in Ojia, Japan. I want to thank you all for uh, watching uh, one of my videos again. Uh, I really appreciate all the very nice comments, uh, feedback, all the likes and all the sharing you do guys. Uh, that's because what it's all about. It's about promoting the hobby to the rest of the world. You can also become a member and support my channel. Uh, I put some more information in the link you see uh, in the corner right now. Um, I will go up uh, to the, into the mountains again to visit some breeders, watch koi, make more videos uh, because uh, also uh, for you. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know in the comments what you thought about uh, this amazing koi museum here in Ojia, Japan.